going to Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm going with this little bus. It's not that comfortable. Join me, it's gonna be super exciting. in Kiev, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> we made it to Kiev, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys around the city. It looks amazing. But first, I wanna get her first impression. What's your first impression? Yeah. yeah Kiev is huge. Kiev, Kiev is huge. not what I expected. She's intimidated because uh, she's so used to live cool. <laughs> Let's go check out the awesome Kiev. It looks beautiful. So tell us a little bit about these buildings. This is McDonald's. This is <laughs> McDonald's. Sometimes I get a very good coffee. It's the buildings. Sushi, sushi place. <laughs> not the not the restaurants, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but the buildings look amazing. We're gonna be visiting some some monuments. Don't expect any uh, amazing information from me. I haven't done I haven't had time to do the research. I've been sick and stuff. Anyways. Let's go. <laughs> you like Oh man, check out the epicness. Like I said before, it's very epic, the building. And you got another one here behind this one. Let's go check it out. Check out how epic uh, Kiev is. Look at that. Buildings. Building after building, that's epic. Check that out, isn't it? It's epic, right? It's amazing. Here, you got two whole streets. One over here, one over there. And it's like a mile long. Maybe more. And it's packed with Gucci, Chanel, basically any kind of brand that you want. I don't know that many brands, but any shopping outlet with some restaurants. They're mostly, they're not vegan or they're not vegetarian, but check it out. You got ice cream. It's pretty like gigantic, enormous. You got two sidewalks. It's gonna be packed at night. I should do a video of Kiev at night. But anyways, let's go. You even can get a, a Ukrainian tattoo and piercing. The, like Ukrainian flag. Ukrainian flag. Where is your tattoo? Where is it's it? on my ass. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Alright. Just more fancy building. Let's go on the metro. Ukrainian metro, we're gonna get to see it. Ukrainian metro. subway station where it's fucking dirty check it out there is there rats let's see if there are rats like the I'm sure there are rats like in New York no garbage no nothing this is 
this is impressive. There is no garbage in the uh, on the. There's what? There's no garbage, no rats, no nothing. Which rats? I mean, in New York and Chicago, there's garbage and rats. You know, you're just chewing your gum in in, in, in New York, and you're just like, let's throw, let's throw it there. This is actually clean. Wow. I mean, New York. Well, is, it, it has to be uh, some somehow modernized and renovated. It's probably because there is to more New Yorkers. Like, to look like Europe, Europe, like Germany and stuff. Oh, really? You guys got good competition? Yeah, That's why. I know, right? We got no competition. We're like, fuck it. China. How was it? What did you think of uh, the Kiev Metro? Super fast. It's pretty cool. Well, it's probably smaller than New York. That's why they could clean it like this. You know, if they had the scale of New York. They, Ukraine couldn't. They couldn't keep up. New York is filthy as hell. You, you do see like rats, and you're like, you're like, oh, cute rat. Oh my god, such a cute rat. Oh no. Oh no, you wouldn't want to see a rat. Maybe you're hungry one day, you're starving, you wanna, you wanna get dinner. What are you gonna do, huh? huh? What are you gonna do then? You're getting slow at this step thing. Come on, oh, by almost the Olympics. Oh, oh shit. Oh man, he beat me. Oh man, we're in real Kia. No more fast again. <laughs> Let's see what they serve here in real Kia. Is this that street food that Ukrainians love? A uh, hot dog with fried inside dough. And they cover up the dough, I think. Where are we at? This is what market? Evan, which market is this? You brought me here. I made it outside of Kiev, uh, and uh, this is supposed to be one of the largest markets in Ukraine. It's got like thousands of stores, but let's check out the pastries first. Oh man, oh man. That looks good, right? Not really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this one looks good, the rest of it. Alright, let's check out the market a little bit. A lot of bookstores. It's a book market. This is a book market. It's, a, it's supposed to be the largest flea market. I think there is. I think there is sections. Something so. There's probably sections, you know, like a book market, book section. It's got the uh, old, old book smell. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. CDs. CDs. Yeah. DVDs. Thank goodness. DVDs, 15 greenness, Terminator, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean, 2012. Oh man, who has a DVD player though? You can buy one here. Yeah, but they're not, they're not HDMI compatible. Probably old timers come here. They're like, oh, let me get my CD, play my DMX. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go find some food. Oh snap! Poppy seed. Let's get this one. Let's see what's inside. Wait, on Mako the Perijak is ready with Mako or what? It's just a set. It's ready. Okay, let's go. 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 Yeah, in the sea. She said cool, inside cool. there is a poppy seed. So. Alright, let's try it. See if it's any good. Yeah, are you kidding me? Of course poppy seed inside. <laughs> That's what she said? Yeah. Oh man. How much? Uh, poppy seed inside and outside. 
Dude, legit, these look extremely delicious. Is this a banana or something like that? Check it out. No, it's a sugar uh, cookie. Sugar cookie? Oh, those suck. Uh, this one is the whole grain cookie. As they say, whole grain cookie. Hey, not bad. They got a proper selection. I thought they were all the same because I was looking at this. Let's, let's this go try this. Oh, I've had these. They're delicious. Try it out. Let me know yeah, how it is. You are breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. This is just really, 10 for really. you now so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Pretty good. Pretty good. That old woman made it. Let's try it out. I thought that mannequin was somebody watching me. <laughs> For real. I was like, what's this problem? It's good. It's good. It tastes like that big cake. The addictive one. There's definitely, if you buy a few of these, this is, this is one that you can't put down for sure. It's so delicious. I'm at the National Museum of the History of Ukraine in the Second World War Memorial Complex. Basically, uh, it's a bunch of memorials for uh, World War II. And guess what? Where is it? There is the first one we're going to. Let's go see the Motherland Monument. Dude, this park is amazing. It's like gigantic, you can see it. It's freaking amazing. UFO? Yeah. Ukraine Space has ship. UFOs? That's pretty cool. Oh, this is more tanks. Such small tanks, Ukrainians in there. Small tanks. <laughs> hey. What's her name? <laughs> Oh my god. Tasha. Not Tasha. Oh man, this is gigantic. Wow. Enormous. How the hell do you even build this? Let's get closer. Man, you could train here like you're rocky and then see this patriotic thing and feel like you're in a movie, I mean. Check it out, it's enormous. So the interesting thing about this, by the way, there's a bunch of people around here. But the interesting thing about this is it's got the hammer and sickle on the shield, as you, as you can see there. Uh, and uh, in Ukraine, the hammer and sickle is outlawed with the exception of World War II monuments like this one. So if it's a World War II monument, they're allowed to have the hammer and sickle. And this was very expensive. A lot of Ukrainians wanted to take it down. I, I still think some do. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it should be left here. It's enormous. And uh, it makes the park nicer. Check it out. And here you got another monument to the Ukrainian soldiers that died in World War II, which, you know, there were millions and millions uh, of not just soldiers, freaking civilians too. And check it out, you got uh, somebody, this guy's holding his hand up, I think. Like, they won, you won, maybe. That guy's still killing. Check it out, this guy's like, let's go kill some more, we're still killing, bam, bam, bam. This guy's, uh, he's, he's lost his mind, kind of, because he's not holding a gun, and yet he's trying to shoot. This guy's marching forward with a grenade and uh, some kind of massive weapon this guy has, and this guy's saying, oh, wait, we don't have to shoot anymore, they gave up, we won, maybe. I'm probably, uh, this, my, my interpretation of this is probably offensive, but overall, the, my point is, this is pretty cool. I like. Oh man, more epic monuments. I think this one's for people. The people of Ukraine during the war. 
I'm guessing it's for the people there. They had to protect themselves, so she's holding a shotgun. And she's like holding a missile. Okay, that's extreme. Wow. Extreme things happen in war. And this one is something similar to the other one we've seen. Soldiers marching. And check it out, you can go even further, walk in this park. This is definitely one of the best things to do in Kiev. If you come here, most of the recommendations are churches, but this is definitely one of the best. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you saw some of Kiev and you liked it. And you know, you visit here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.